Hey everybody, James D guy. So I wanted to give you a little heads up on what I plan on doing this winter. My winter plans are a little different than what most people I think would do. They just have the self-control to park their vehicle for six months or however long winter lasts. I don't even know, it feels like a year. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull Old Faithful's motor, the entire setup, out and drop in an all-motor D-series. It's not going to be really fast. It's going to be quick, but, you know, just, you know, light mods, intake, exhaust, the uh, S300 just tuned up a little bit. It'll be quick. It'll get good gas mileage, but it'll, it needs to last me all winter. So my plans this winter are to build the motor up. Well, it's already built up, but, you know, go through, make sure thing, everything's good. Put a block guard in it. Put a stage 2.5 turbo cam. I'm probably just going to get a comp cam or a BZ Moto. It don't really matter to me. I'm going to get a little more head work done. I'm probably going to port and polish it out. Make sure everything's good because I don't think this head I port and polish. This is just a JDM D15B head. I actually don't think I port and polish this one. I'm going to go through all the turbo. If it has shaft play, I'm going to go take it and get it remachined out at the diesel turbo shop. They can remachine them and balance them out and Turbo's working great. It's not smoking or throwing any problems. I'm gonna, probably going to go get a time slip, run it a few times, get a good baseline for this summer, and then afterwards it's getting yanked as soon as possible. I just don't want to hurt anything yet. And During the winter, there's lots of revving because of snow and water. I just don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to rebuild it, get it all ready for summer. And next summer, come out on 25, 20 to 25 pounds, hopefully be around 30 by the end of next summer because 13.8 pounds which is I round up and say 14 it's a lot easier um, it's good it's it's great it has enough power for me but I don't know I just think this uh, this winter I'm just gonna rebuild the motor the entire winter so that way next summer I come right out boom right out of the hole I'm, I've already got my new motor in so I'll give you a little shot since I don't know if you guys have seen it all lately. I polished the turbo up. It's still the same turbo. Turbo blanket. Got the wastegate pipe ran straight down. Shoots the fire right off the ground. Good old cast iron log manifold. Intake pipe ran up with the, my custom heat shield, which I can actually show you guys how to make one of these. I still need to do that because I made this one. It's kind of all beat up now because I've taken it off so many times to clean my filter. Yeah, my induction pipes, which you've probably seen on the other video. I'm going to get a bigger fan and relocate the radiator over a little farther. But for the all-motor setup, it'll be fine. Also going to run a new six-puck clutch because this one's starting to get its life worn out. It's been in there for about eight or nine months. Holding strong, but, you know, it's just a old worn-out six-puck stage three now. Put a lot of boost onto it, which I'm surprised it's lasted this long for a $130 cheap eBay cl eBay clutch. But yeah, it's basically going to be the exact same setup you see, just all motor. It's going to have no power to me. But yep, yeah, it's come a long ways and it's going to it has a ways to go still, but 25 pounds next summer. This winter I'll keep you guys updated on the build. I'll uh, I'll actually probably have a how to build motor uh, video because I'm probably just going to tear it all down. I'm actually probably going to go board 60 over instead of 20, get bigger pistons, refreshing the bearings, and get the crank checked over and make sure it's all top notch for this next summer because I'm coming out hard next summer. I'm hoping to shoot for 11s or 10s if possible, which 10s I think might be a little out of it, but I should be in the 13s right now as it sits. My buddy runs 14 flats and I can beat him, so I should be at least a high 13, maybe a mid, hoping for lows, but can only dream. But yeah, I'll get you guys a video of how it's coming out, and as soon as I pull the motor, I might even do a how to pull the motor video again. Time elapsed, of course, so you don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing. Yeah, it, might, it takes about an hour to do with me not having a cherry picker, but I might have a cherry picker in this this time because I I may be 24 years old but my back's starting to catch up with me pulling all these motors by hand 
So yeah, keep tuned guys, and I figured I'd give you a little heads up on what I'm doing with my motor build. And of course, if I go to the track, I'll try to get video of that. I will have a time slip to show what I ran, and if I don't run this summer, which I'm going to try my hardest to run this summer, I'm hopefully going this next Friday if, if uh, my money situations allow me to. I have a backup tranny, a backup CV shafts, and everything's ready to go. If I blow my tranny out there, I have another one just to slap in and drive home because I'm driving it 40 miles to the track and 40 miles back. So I'm going to give a shout out to you Valley Importers. You guys are really coming along nicely on your page. You keep up the good work, all them nice cars out there. And yeah. I'm going give to give a shout out to Tuner Slang Magazine, which my car's a part of now. I really, really appreciate all the support I've had from the people that have supported me. All the haters, you know, y'all are going to hate. This is a full eBay built setup, and I'm proud of it. I don't care what anyone says, really. I just get a little butt hurt at times, but I don't think I'm getting that butt hurt no more because I really don't give a crap what you say no more. I built it for me, not you, so suck a left nut. Here's my drag slicks. Pretty wide little bastards. Um... I have a tape measure. I can actually see how wide they are for those that are interested in how wide they are. Let me set the camera down. And there it is. Hang on. About nine and a half inch, nine and a quarter inch wide. They're pretty nice. When they're on the ground, they go a little bit wider because tire pressure and all that good stuff they hook pretty good so good it snapped that cv shaft like it was a little baby twig so this time i'm gonna run about 20 pounds in it i had about nine pounds in it run about 20 pounds but i'm gonna make a pass on the street tires first yeah these street tires are gonna definitely hook up a lot they're gonna spin but they're gonna not break anything as easy this this will break real quick it breaks all kinds of stuff and here's the motor I'm throwing in. It's just a D15B7, nothing special really. Uh, I'll have the Z6 head on it probably and header going into my 3-inch exhaust. Probably going to be pretty loud. Well, thanks for watching my video. I know it's kind of long, but it'll give you a good idea on what I plan on doing for my winter build. Hoping to pull this motor out soon and get started early so I can have it done because, you know, money situation is killing me right now. But it will be a pretty nasty car when it comes out. I, I might keep the Y8 manifold just to see how fast I can get it down on uh, quarter mile times. Because I've seen 11s and 10s off of stock manifolds before. Which, mine isn't stock. I've modified it. So, that should be good. And then I'll have to get a really, really good dyno tune. And hopefully be up at 400 horses or more. I know my setup right now is capable of 450. So, should be good. Should be good winter. Have a lot to do. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Keep up to date on my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like. Please don't hate. If you have to hate, then go somewhere else with that because I don't like it and I don't appreciate it at all. It's very rude. Okay, have a great day, guys. Bye.